In this video, I'm going to show you how to record MIDI effects to tracks in Reaper. Now I have a project in front of me here, and I want to record some MIDI. I've already created a synth track over here, which we could see a couple of synth plugins, a filter, and a delay, and a reverb. And right now, it sounds like this. And you can see down here when I play my keyboard. But it's not a very interesting sound, and I want to play a more rhythmic part. So I want to add some MIDI plugins to do that for me, because I'm kind of lazy and not so accurate. So I'm going to double click over here to add more plugins. Type into the filter MIDI. We can see over here all the MIDI plugins that come with Reaper. Plugins we could use to trigger our MIDI, even if we just hold down one key. So I'm going to start off with this one, the MIDI arpeggiator. Double click it. Let's move it to the top so it'll affect the other synths. And right now, it's just going to play multiple notes. So if I hold down a key, We hear multiple notes playing in rhythm with the tempo of the project. And we could speed it up by doubling it. But I'm going to set it to three to create a triplet feel. Then we can adjust the variance or how many different notes that are going to vary in the arpeggio. I'll change variant one to be five which is the upper fourth. And variant two to be minus seven, which is the lower fourth. So if we just hold down one key, we get an arpeggio creating a more rhythmic feel. So let's try to record it in our project. And watch down here, the notes I'm triggering with a MIDI keyboard. And if we loop it on playback, it sounds pretty good. But we could see if we look at the MIDI item, either here or double clicking it in the MIDI editor, we just see the notes I played, not the individual notes that are actually triggering the synth. And I want the ability or flexibility of being able to edit those notes. So let's do this a different way. Instead of putting the plugin on the track right here, let's move it to the input effects right over here. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just drag it from here to here and drop it. Now the arpeggiator is on the input effects, while the synths are still on the track effects. So now it's going to print, when we record the MIDI, all the different notes that are being triggered by the MIDI plugin or the MIDI effects. And we can see it live down over here. If I hold down one key, we can see all the notes that are being triggered. And again, they're going to record into the project. So let's try it this way again. So even though I played the same thing, just holding down one key at a time, we see all the notes that the MIDI plugin or MIDI effects triggered. And if we double click it to open up the MIDI editor, we can see all the notes we can now edit. So now we can edit the notes to make the arpeggio more interesting or more custom. 
So let's adjust this note to be up here, and this one to be up here, and this one to be up here, which now sounds like this. We get more flexibility when we can edit each note individually. So let's try it out with some other plugins. Let's clear this one, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, to delete it. Let's add another MIDI plugin. And this time we'll choose the MIDI quarterizer, which will trigger chords when we just play one note. Double click it. Again, we'll put it at the top. So it triggers all our synths. Now if I play just one note, I'm hearing two, the main note and the upper fourth right here. But we get more notes down over here. Let's type in 10, which is going to add a seventh to the chord. And also the number 12 to add the upper octave to the chord. So now I could play faster rhythms without having to play chords like this. So let's try that in the project. Again, that was easier to play because I just triggered it with one key at a time but I created chords that sound like this. But again, we can't see the notes individually. If I double click the item to open the MIDI editor, we're just seeing one note at a time. So instead, let's do that same trick again. Let's move the MIDI quarterizer to the input effects. Hold on the PC, option on the Mac, and just drag it and drop it right here. Now that effect or plugin is on the input effects. And we still have the synth on the track effects. So now we can see live what chords are being played. In fact, makes it easier to tweak the plugin as we can see the chords down here. So let's try recording the same part with this plugin. And again, we could open up the MIDI editor and we could see all the notes that are being triggered. If we want to re edit the part, change the chords, and change some of the notes in the performance. Let's try it with one more plugin. Let's delete this one again. Open up a MIDI plugins. This time we're going to choose something simple, like the MIDI note repeater. Again, we'll put it at the top, and it's just going to repeat notes as we hold down our key. But to create a triplet feel, let's bring it down to 0.66. And now let's try playing a part with this. Again, the amount of notes we hit are much less than what we hear. If we open up the MIDI editor, we could see a lot less notes than what are being triggered. So we can't edit all the notes unless we move the effect 
the MIDI note repeater to the input effects. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, just drag it and drop it right here. Now the MIDI note repeater is on the input effects, while the synth is still on the track effects. So let's record it now. And again, it recorded all the different individual notes that are being triggered from the plugin or the MIDI effects. And if we open up the MIDI editor, we can see all the notes individually. And again, we can now individually edit the part because now we can see all the notes. So let's change this note to this and this one to this, and this one to this, to create this part instead. So recording a MIDI effects to tracks during the recording process gives us the flexibility of editing those notes individually later. So that's pretty much it. That's how to record MIDI effects to tracks in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.